Good morning, students. How are you doing, pupils? I should call you pupils. No. Hello, pupils. Hello. You're doing all right? Your other classes are not giving you lots of homework. Just saying. Hola. Hola. That's Spanish for hello. Just letting you know. There's Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea. What's up? Morning. What's up? What are you doing? <laughs> What's up? Parabolas is up. <laughs> that joke. <laughs> Sorry, I'm letting people in. Hurry up, Amon. Get in. Amon, did you bring tacos for everyone? Okay, we're gonna continue on. Do you guys have questions on anything? 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 Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I I accidentally uh, I uh, titled the uh, the topic that we did last time eleven one. It wasn't eleven one. That was eleven two. 11 one circles. We'll do circles. We'll do the circles when we do uh, ellipse so you can understand uh, the concept of circles. It's it's related to ellipses. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to cover circles uh, next time. Okay. So um, let's review what we learned um, on Tuesday. All right. So um, I went to page in your in your ebook. I went to page eight oh nine, and I was looking at problems thirty nine through fifty six. All right. So let's. I'm gonna let you guys pick. So don't. You can only pick numbers from thirty nine through forty eight. Thirty nine to forty eight. Don't do anything from forty nine below because we haven't covered that. But can you pick? Can you pick a couple of them from thirty-nine to forty-eight that you think you can have difficulty with? <clears throat> pick two or three, don't matter. Whatever. Which one do you think looks difficult? Fifty-one. Thirty-nine. Fifty-one. <laughs> Which is eight? Thirty-nine. You said someone said thirty-nine, right? Uh, I did, sir. Yes, sir. All right, thirty-nine. All right, pick another one. We got thirty-nine. Don't. Pick beyond 48. 43. 43. All right. All right. Let's do, let's do the, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's do, let's do the 43 first. And then we'll do the 39. 39 looks kind of weird. All right. So let's, let's do 43 first. All right. 43. Let me write it down. 43. Okay, so this one is a uh, Y. Oh, I forgot to bring up the the formulas. Okay, wait, wait, I'll bring it up in a minute. Y minus two squared equals eight X plus one. Okay, let me see if I can bring it up. Will come up. Bam. Uh, okay. Okay, I have the formula. All right, so cool. Whenever I need it, it'll be there. All right, let me let me show you what I have. Just wrote down the problem on the board on the on the paper. <clears throat> okay, there it is. There it is. All right, so let's see if you guys remember. Does uh does the parabola uh face up or down or left or right? Left or right. Left or right. Okay. And uh what is your vertex? Negative one, two. Negative one, positive two? 
is correct. All right, cool beans. H. I want to label it. I have to label it. Okay, so all right, so we got that. Let's find P. How do you find the value of P? What do you do to find the value of P? H plus P comma K. Uh, that's the focus. That's focus. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll get to that one. What was it? Uh, four P equals eight. Four P equals eight. Yes, yes, yes. Four P equals eight. And then, and then you solve for P. Right. And then, and then, yes, I agree with you about the focus. You said the focus was... focus was a uh, h plus p comma k okay let me double check i want to double check ah just just to be certain you know just to be just to be on the safe side let me look at my let's look at our um, handy dandy formula sheet you are correct it is h plus p comma k you are correct very good okay just to double check. Right. And then we substitute, we're going to substitute the H, the K, and the P. And here we go. I'm just going to do the Mario sound. Here we go. H negative one plus my P value, which was the two. Uh, comma k is two so i am getting one one comma two i was gonna Ali, i was trying to do it wrong so that way you guys can pick it up and i got it right Son of a biscuit okay next time next time i'm gonna do it wrong on purpose all right Let's see, I'm going to draw it. I'm going to draw the picture. And remember, you know that you did it right because the um, focus has to be inside with the um, with the uh, vertex. I forgot one more thing. I forgot the directrix. Uh, what did I put the directrix? I put it right here. Directrix. Okay, what was the uh, formula for the directrix? Oh, I forgot. Was it x, x equals or y equals? <clears throat> X equals. X equals. Okay, X equals. X equals H minus P. So that would equal uh, negative one minus two. That's negative three. So X equals negative three. Sorry, X equals three. X equals three. All right, let me draw it. Okay, let's see if I can draw today with my protein shake I just had. Yeah, if some ingredient called CBD, I have no idea. We'll find out what happens. Don't know. Don't know what that is. No, don't know what that is, but we'll, we'll try it out. Whatever. All right, three. Uh, what did I do with my uh oh, All right, so I'm gonna just wing it. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can just wing it. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it, guys. Let's see if my graph comes out pretty nice. Your directrix is negative three, right? Yes, it's negative three. Good move, ma'am. <laughs> you see, I told you I was gonna, I was gonna put an error on purpose. Good job. Ah, I messed up the scale on that one. Okay. Anyways, all right. So here we go. I'm gonna. Yeah, that's right. It's supposed to be a negative three. Good job. Good job. 
Good move. Good move. I even told you I was going to make an error. Okay. So let's plot the vertex. So negative one and two. Um, all right. So negative one and two. I had a, I had a student in my calculus class. They, they were having trouble plotting points, and it happens. You know, it happens. You forget. I forgot that the, when you plot a point, it go you go the first number you go right left, second number you go up down. And they forgot. Anyways, one negative one. And two up, one, two. So it should be here. There is my vertex. All right. So it's going sideways and it's positive. So that means it's going to go in that direction. So it be, so the focus better be on the right of V. Otherwise, we did something wrong. Okay. So my focus is one, two. Booyah. There it is. There's my focus. And my directrix has to be on the other side of the vertex. So it has to be on the left side. So yeah, you're right. One, negative two, negative three. There it is. Negative three. So it tells me that I'm going to go along my x axis and at stop at negative three and I draw a a, I don't know, dashed directrix. And I just draw my parabola, however you want. I know my, I had a, someone, someone emailed me yesterday that said, how do you know how wide and how thin to make the parabola? Well, we don't. We are just sketching. Holy smoke. So you don't know. We don't know. There you go. That's pretty good, considering. Well, I have to cook it, but that's all right. And there's your graph. I'm going to double check. I'm going to put it in my TI calculator, my calculator. Let me see. I'm going to try it out on my calculator. Let's see if it matches up. I'm going to go to on. Yep. I'm going to go to apps. Conics. Scroll down. Oh, that's if you guys have that option in your calculators. Uh, and parabola. Oh, shoot, I went too high. Parabola, it is the first one. I'm going to enter my H and K. Negative one. Dos X. P, why is it every time we do these problems, P is always too weird? Graph. Ooh. Ah, I didn't record the, uh, it, didn't, it didn't show the asymptote. I don't think it shows asymptotes. Let me see, zoom, can I do zoom? Ah, it won't work, yeah. It won't let you zoom, it just, it's just there, it's just there. Yep, so look, it crosses the, the Y scale, so yep. Mine's better, I'm saying, not to show off, but I think mine's better. Cool beans. You want me to do it on, um, on um, what you want to call it? GeoGebra? Let's see, let's do it in GeoGebra just to, just to show off. Uh, let me see. GeoGebra. Let me put the equation in, my GeoGebra. I love GeoGebra and demos. They're, they're the same, but they're they're cool um, programs. I don't think Desmos does three dimensions. Does it do three dimensions? Have y'all ever tried three dimensional figures on Desmos? Have to check it out. Not yet. Not yet. Whoa! I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, you can do three dimensional figures in, in uh, I'll have to show you after, after this one. Okay, so there's, there's the, uh, there, oh, I didn't put the, uh, okay, well, let's put the, uh, yeah, and you can put, you can, I think you do, you can do it also in decimals. You can put, you can put coordinates on there just to, just to, uh, 
Or you can put points on there. I think decimals, you can do the same thing. I'll have to, I'll have to load it up. Decimals. Okay, there's, there's that point. The vertex, let's see the focus is one, two. Okay, there's the, there's that one. Oh, why do I put so many freaking parentheses? Yeah. And I'm gonna put my, my um, directions. Of course, I like colors. I'm going to choose settings, color, blue, dotted line. Zoom it in. I'm going to zoom it in so you can see it. Yep. So it's equal distance from there. So vertex focus, vertex to directrix. Same exact distance. Cool. Of course, your drawings are much more better than mine, right, Edward? Is that correct? No, sir, you're an artist. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Man, your D just no, went Picasso. up to a deep. Picoso, <laughs> not Picasso. Picoso, sorry, sorry. It's go. early in the morning, Picoso. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's, uh, what's the, uh, what's the hottest pepper? Is it the Carolina Reaper? Yeah, that's some hot stuff. Okay, so there's your graph. Now, you want me to show you the three-dimensional one? I can show you a three-dimensional. So let me see. You have to go to, oh, I don't remember this. Let's see. Three -dimension. I mean, I have to clear all this stuff. Hold on, let me clear it. Delete. No, I'm going to have to redo it. Hold on. I need to reboot the whole thing. OK, let's see if I can find it. Uh, is. I saw it right now. Uh, three D. Where is the three D? Son of a biscuit. There it is. Okay, you see these little three little D three D right here. Um, right here. You can do, you can do three D graphics. So I'm gonna click on it, and your grid becomes a three dimensional. Uh, plane. So you have the okay. So here's the here's the thing. So because it's three dimensional, your green, your green is the Y. Uh, hopefully they've got the colors right. The red is the X, and the Z plane is the Z. So there's a three dimensional uh, uh, plane, and because your you're dealing with three dimensional planes. So like when you're dealing with um, a two dimension, it's one variable, X. Uh, oh, sorry, one dimensional is X, two dimensional is X and Y, and three dimensional is X, Y, and Z. So let's let's do a, uh, a, a sphere, a sphere. So I'm gonna do X squared, where's my squared? X squared plus y squared, it looks kind of freaky, plus z squared equals, hold on, give me a number, favorite number. Seven. Seven. Boom. And there is your three-dimensional ball. See, you can, you can maneuver, you can, you can uh, look at it in different perspectives, right? Isn't that cool? You can look at it from the top. There's your, there's your Y, your X. So I had the other way. Like that. There. Y is the green, X is the red, and then blue is the top. Cool, right? 3D. Notice, notice, did you guys notice that when I did the, uh, if I take off, if I take off uh, the Z, 
look what happens. What shape do we get? Huh, it's a candle. Huh, look at that. You see the wick? It's a candle. That looks like a candle. That is so cool. I didn't think about that. Huh, so a candle is that equation. I wonder what scent it would be. Huh. Anyone want to give a idea of what would it smell like? Cinnamon. <laughs> Cinnamon. I was thinking more wine. <laughs> apples fall. You know, she uh, her saying cinnamon. I was thinking like, like apple cinnamon or fall. Yeah. True. True. I was thinking more like uh, a peep, maybe scented. You know those Easter peeps. Just saying. Okay. So there's your graph of a three-dimensional figurine. Bloom. That looks. That looks funky. Great. All right, cool beans. All right, so now let's go and do the uh, the one that we were gonna uh, was mentioned for thirty nine. All right, thirty nine. Let's take a look at thirty nine. Okay, so let me write down thirty nine. Thirty nine is kind of weird. Okay, thirty nine. So thirty nine is x squared equals 4y. Okay, so Okay, it, it does look funky. Um, so um, is this parabola going to go up down or left right up down up down okay okay and what would be the vertex zero 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 okay so this is written in a weird way but it's really it's really supposed to be x minus zero squared equals four parentheses y minus zero they just took off the they took off the zeros right and that just collapses to get that that collapses to get that they just took off the parentheses so that's that's correct that is correct In the vertex is zero zero correct um what is p one uh, one one that's right four p equals four ah thank you. therefore p has to be one okay uh focus is it uh is it H plus P comma K or is it H comma K plus P? H comma K plus P. All right, I'm, it's not that I don't trust you, ma'am. I just want to double check. Let me see. Mm -hmm. You are correct. Double checking. Zero, zero plus one, zero, one. Cool. And I need the directrix. All right, did I get the directrix correct? No. Ah, uh, what should it have been? Y equals K minus P. Excellent, excellent. 
y equals k minus p. Very good. So that would be zero minus one. So y equals y equals negative one. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can graph. Oh, let's see if I can graph. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a teeny weeny one. I don't know if it'll fit here, but I'm gonna try. Vamos a ver. Okay, that looks like a good grid. Dang it, zero, 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 center, bing. All right, um, focus, zero, one, zero, one. F, V, uh-oh. Did I do something wrong? Zero, one. What did I do wrong? You put it beside it, but it should be above it. Aha. Good job. Yeah, zero, one should be right there. Why did I have to put the V right there? Okay, F, V, okay, there you go. So that should be negative one, but, 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 dash, 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 dash. Okay, there you go, boom, there's your, and then your parabola should go like, that sound effect, there we go. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Yes. David agrees. Are you cold, David? The Arctic blast hasn't come in yet. It's supposed to come in this weekend. I'm not really cold. Is it snowing where you live at, Dave? No? <laughs> no, it feels like it. <laughs> When I was y'all's age, my parents used to crank up the air conditioner in January. Woo, dang it, dude, it's freaking cold, man. Oh, geezers. Getting hot all the time. More comfortable cold. Yes, true that. I would way rather be cold than like sweaty and hot. That's true. Yeah, just think of August when it's like, uh, what, oven, oven temperature outside, like 350 degrees, little toasties. All right, cool beans. Okay. Questions on the uh, on the parabola. Now I'm gonna give you one. Now we're gonna make it a little. Right now you got a little. I'm gonna make it a little toasties. I'm gonna make it toasties. What happens if I were to give you a problem like this? You ready? Ready? All right. So it's gonna be y minus square root of three squared equals negative three x plus what would be a good number oh ln two whoa huh how would you do that one First, find the uh, well, I would say. You say skip it? <laughs> Did you say skip this problem? No. Nothing right. <laughs> uh, okay, you don't have to modify it. it. It's already, it's ready in its format. So don't, don't let, don't let this scare you and that scare you. They're, they're just basically numbers. That's all that, that it's. Right. So we, yeah, so we'll have to, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to, uh, I think these go sideways, right? Left to right? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so you do it the same way. So what is your, what is your vertex? Positive square root of three. Uh-huh. Negative ln two. Ah, you're close. You are so close, ma'am. So close. Try again. Negative ln two. There you go. Negative ln two comma square root of three, right? Because they're reversed. X oh. x is the H. Yes. And then the Y has the K. Okay. So let's 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 change it. Let's change it to a, a decimal. All right. So you're gonna have to take out your handy dandy. Notebooks. No, I'm kidding. Uh calculator. So what is negative ln two? And let's round it off to two places behind the decimal, which y'all get. The year I was not born in, 69. All right, and then we're gonna take the square root of three, and we're gonna round that one off to three, two places behind, 1.73 I got. Right. The, re the reason why I bring up this example is because sometimes, sometimes your, your, your values are not going to come out. They're not going to come out perfect, not whole numbers like that. You can, you're going to have to deal with decimal. So always, always round. If that's the case, round to two places behind the decimal. All right. And don't, don't ever mention this word in my class. Do not bring up significant figures. Oh, you bring up that word, I'm gonna hit you with my chunkla. Round to two places behind the decimal. We don't do, we don't do uh, significant figures. That's up to the uh, biologists, like the biology and the physics. Those are what we're doing in my chemistry class right now. <laughs> is it? It's so confusing, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I know how to do it. And I, if I explain it, I'm going to just confuse the heck out of you because that's just yeah, significant figures. Sig figs. The only figs I know is fig newtons. Oh. All right, so there's your vertex. Uh, how do you find P? I know you do 4P. What do you set it equal to? Negative three. Okay. So then we divide by four. Oh man, we're gonna get a decimal. So that should be negative three fourths is about it's it's a uh, well it's exactly zero point seventy five. Yep. There's your p. Um. Focus. <clears throat> This one should be H plus P comma K. Which is, okay, my H, there's my H, there's my K. So I'm gonna do negative 0 0.69 plus negative 0 0.75 comma 1.73. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to calculate that number. Negative one point forty four. Is that correct? Yes. All right. We are on a roll. Um, what are we missing? Uh, directrix. That one should be x equals h minus p. Um, h is negative 0 0.69 minus negative 0 0.75. So, oh, that becomes a plus. 
negative 0 0.69 plus, because two negatives make a positive. All right, so that should give me how much money I have in my account in my bank. 0 0.06, dang, that's too much. 0 0.06. You probably, you guys are probably going faster than I am. You already probably have the answers already. You already ever graphed it too, right? I'm just saying, bunch of math geeks. Uh, let me see. <laughs> All right, y'all look. <laughs> that means you are a math geek. It's all right. You can say it here. It's all right. It's the English English majors that are just jealous. Okay. All right. So I'm ready to graph. Yeah, I'm ready to graph. All right. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to approximate these things because this is gonna be kind of tough. All right. So um, I think it goes. I'm gonna have to go up to two. All right. So it's gonna go up to. I think the max is gonna go up to two. One, two. One, one. Two. Ah. One, two. Okay. Okay. So the first num the first one is my vertex. So it has to go negative point sixty nine and one point seventy three, right? So on my grid, point negative point sixty nine. Is is that number? Ah, oh, man, I didn't draw it. Good. Shoot. All right. So zero point sixty nine, right? Is it closer to negative one or is it closer to zero? Point negative point sixty nine. Because now I have to approximate this. Thing. Negative. Yeah, it's closer to negative one, right? So I'm gonna just put my dot. So it's gonna go. It's gonna go. Uh, about there, and then I gotta go one point seventy. So sorry, hold on. Da, da, da. Uh, negative goes about right there, uh, about there, right? And then I'm gonna go up one point seventy three, but it's close to two, so it should be. What do y'all think? Is that close enough? It's about there, ish. If you're not too comfortable just make the freaking dot big you know just make the dot big <laughs> oh there goes my ah, jeez so there go my my board just fell son of a it's because maddie was giving it oh you were enjoying my picture weren't you maddie dang it dang it maddie you gave my picture oh all right i know my buttons i look like darth maul with them on <laughs> More. <laughs> I haven't heard. Well, as long as you're not Jar Jar Binks, you're good. That's my favorite. He's my favorite character from Star Wars. No, come on. No. No, not Jar Jar Binks. He's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> I don't know. He's on the weird. I think he's on drugs. I don't know. Okay, anyways. All right, so there's your there's your approximation of the vertex. Sorry, so I'm gonna have to approximate the focus. So I'm gonna have to hold on to my my board. Don't fall. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go negative one point four four. So negative one point four four. I'm gonna just say it's about right there ish, and then I'm gonna go up to one point seven. So it's your it's supposed to be lined up with the uh, with the uh, vertex. So there's my V, there's my F, and I'm gonna go ahead and plot my 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Ooh, as my grandma says, chiki -ti 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 -ti, right there, right there. I'm gonna draw my. It's it's hugging it's hugging the uh. It's hugging the y axis right there, not on it, but 
really close to it, really close to it. And then there's my parabola. Whoop. Whoop. Without the suffix. <laughs> Darth Maul. There we go. There's your para. There's your parabola. Why is my why is my thing gonna fall? Oh, that's why. Hello. There you go. There you go. Root there it is, root there it is, chocolate, chocolate. No yawning, Vasily. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. Cool beans? Questions? These are easy, right? All right. So let's compare. Would you rather do parabolas or partial fractions? Parabolas. Excellent. Partial fractions. Fractions. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> partial fractions? Who said that? Who said partial fractions? I said it. No, do you like do you like the partial fractions? I do like them better than parabolas. No way, that is awesome. All right, she's sitting next to me in the test, guys. She's sitting next to me. <laughs> Excellent. All right, very good. Okay, so questions. Do you guys have questions? I even even uh huh. But it's not really related to just this. Uh -huh. um, we have a quiz due February 25th. What is the work that is supposed to be that quiz? I know you said it the first day, but I just can't remember. Uh, the quiz for the the one on the 25th? Mm-hmm. There's a quiz on the 20th. Oh, oh, the packet. oh, oh, the packet. The packet. packet. Yes, the packet, that 50 question packet. That's due on the 25th. Do you have a copy of it? No, that's that's why I, I didn't know where to find it. Okay, so um, it's in the, in the very first email or you guys can find it. Let me show you. You don't, you didn't get it, the email uh, um, that I sent out. It is in our Canvas page, if you go, if you go to files, all right, go to go to files, and it should be under review packet right there. Just click on it, and it should be right there. That one. Thank on, you. On You're welcome. Good question. Good question. So that is going to be our quiz, or that's, we're going to have to review that no, for no, no, our that, quiz. That's, yeah, that's your that's your quiz. That 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 uh, packet is going to count for two quizzes. It's going to count for your quiz number one and your quiz number two. It counts as two quizzes. So that one you'll turn in on the twenty fifth. And yes, I'm going to have to stay up and grade all those papers. Yeah, you guys have to just do it. I have to grade it. Oh. Boo. boo i know boo but you know but i'll be drinking wine at the time so hopefully if i'm drinking wine every time you miss a problem i have to take a sip so hopefully you i don't become grumpy or i become happy at the end <laughs> guys <laughs> check your problems yeah <laughs> yes we can't trust him <laughs> if you see a red stain you know why all right. No, I'm kidding. I'll 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 grade it. I'll grade I'll grade it nice. Uh David, you put a you put a carrot? Hmm. <laughs> Are you it's vegetarian? Like what she said. Oh, oh, I thought you were a vegetarian. I thought you ate carrots or something. Interesting. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you all how to do uh Problems 49 down. I know you. someone asked me 51. Okay, so the thing is with these, these are not written in standard form. What we were doing when we were graphing our parabolas, they were written in standard format. So I'm gonna have to show y'all how to convert 
from standard to a from general to a standard. So let me let me show y'all the uh, the uh, how they look. So in in standard form. They're written, they're written in this format. X minus H squared equals four P Y minus K or, or the other one, right? Y minus K squared equals four P X minus H. These are in standard form. In general, Form, they're expressed as um, x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by equals c. Yeah. Nope, my bad. Scratch, scratch, scratch. X squared plus AX plus BY equals C or Y squared plus AY plus BX equals C. That's all right. Yeah. Those are in general form. Notice on the how do you know how do you know if you're going to be dealing with a um, a parabola? Well, if you look at the expression, you only have one variable that's squared. It's either going to be the x or it's either going to be the y. So if you only have one variable that has a square in it, you're dealing with a parabola. If you had an x squared, the one that I had written previously I had x squared plus y squared this would have been an ellipse if you had x squared minus y squared then you would have a hyperbola but we'll talk about those later but notice only one variable has a square in it the x or the y that's that's general form and so what we're going to do is we're going to convert we're going to convert this into this we're going to convert this expression into this. But the thing is, you're going to have to use complete the square. Okay, we're going to have to use complete the square. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's, it seems like a long process, but once you, once you get it, it's, it's pretty easy. So I'm going to show you all the steps on how to do it. So I'm going to choose, let's see, which one should we choose from our exercises? So now you guys can choose from 49 through 56. Which one would you like? 52. Excellent. 52. Okay. So, all right. 52. Ah, oh, you have to pick that one. I'm kidding. <laughs> 52. All right. 52. All right. I need, I need a bath. I need a pen. What did I do with my pen? All right, 52, let me write it down. 52 is y squared, y squared minus 2y equals 8x minus 1. Oh, that's a perfect one. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, so 52. Okay, so normally the the mo normally all the terms are all in the left, and you have your constant only on the right side of the equation. But this one's not. So what you want to do is first first thing you do is um, you want to you want to you want to make sure that the make sure 
that the variable that has a square is on the left side. Of equation. Right. So make sure that the variable that has a square is on the left side of the equation. So notice my y squared is already on the left side. Okay. Uh, you want to also the a uh, variable a single variable i guess the single variable how would you write it the single matches matches the variable squared should also be on the left side of equation So you're pretty much combining like terms. You want all the all the one variable on the left and all the other variables on the right, like this. It's got to be like this. You got your square and you got its single partner next to it. And then you have the other ones on the other side. Okay, I'll let you write that down first. Let me bump it up. Okay. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice it was that. There we go. Focus. Focus. Yes, I was noticing that Mercedes was squinting at the picture, so I had to, I had to uh, zoom. There you go. <laughs> Don't be staring at the screen, man. You're going to get awful. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, now. <laughs> so once you have it written in this format like that, okay, and you got this like that, on the left side, you're going to do complete the square. So on the left side, you will perform the complete the square. I'm going to bring it up in a minute. Complete the square. All right, so you're going to have to remind me how that complete the square technique works. How were y'all taught about completing the square? Do y'all remember? It was a two step process. Y'all remember? No idea? No idea? Oh, no. That's not no bueno. No bueno. Okay, so I'll show you how. Okay, so on the complete the square, here's what you do. It's, it's a two-step process, right? So you are going to, A, you're going to divide, you're going to divide the B term by two. So whatever this, this value is, 
you're going to divide it by two. So you're going to divide by two, you're going to get the answer. And then the second step is you're going to square it. You're going to square the result. You're going to divide by two, and then you square the result. So it goes, it goes, bam, plug, square. Whatever you get here, whatever you get there, you, you square it. So I'll let you copy that. That's the, that's the two-step process for completing the square. So we'll do it together, all right? We're going to do it together. So I'm going to go back up here. And you got to be careful with your signs, all right? You got to be careful with your signs. So whatever that number is, so what's our B value? Is it 2 or negative 2? Two? 2. What kind of 2? Positive. Negative, right? It's negative because the, there's a minus. So if there's a minus, the subtraction, you're going to go ahead and attach it to the number. Okay, if it's plus, then you just you just use that number. But if there is a subtraction in it, you're going to go ahead and, and tack on the sign with the number. So it's going to be negative 2, right? So let me, let me write it down here. So A, so I'm going to, I'm going to circle it. So negative two. So what is negative two divided by two? That's a tough question. That should be negative one. That was a tough, did you use your calculator when you computed that one? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, you can, I shouldn't laugh, sorry. Sorry, shouldn't laugh. And then we're going to square that answer that we got negative one so what's negative one squared one what kind of one negative one. Oh, you're close positive. positive yeah whatever whatever this number is that you plug in whatever your a value whether it's negative or positive the the value at the end always comes out positive because when you square a positive number, it comes out positive. If you square a negative number, it comes out positive. You can double check, put, you can type, you can type this in your calculator with parentheses, of course, and you'll get that, you'll get that result. So that, that's it. You just, you divide the B term, this term by two, and then you square it. And there's your, there's your number that you're gonna use to uh, complete the square. Well, you just did complete the square. That's what that was. So once, once you got that number, this number, I need to box this thing. That number that I haven't boxed here, you're going to do something with that number. Right? So it's an equation. So think of it like a balance. You have a, a, a you're trying to balance like a seesaw. You're trying to balance it, right? So what you do with that number one is you're gonna place it on both sides. You're gonna add one to both sides. So let me put that step here. So here's step four. All right, so here's step four, let me write down step four. So to balance the equation, Add the step B value to both sides of the equation. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring down the problem again. So let me bring it down. So what was it? Y squared minus two y equals eight x minus one. Right, so you get your you get your one and you put it on both sides. That one that one that we got when we did to complete the square, you're gonna place it on both sides, just like that, okay?
Okay, here's the next step. Step five, you're going to factor the left side and simplify the right side. Okay, so you're gonna have to factor this. How do you factor y squared minus two y plus one? Any ideas? Y minus one squared? That is correct. So I factored, I factored this side and I, I pretty much you just combine like terms, you get 8x. So in case you guys are having trouble, diff, uh, having trouble factoring it, okay, I'm gonna show you a little step. Just for your, just for your info, okay. So you remember our complete the square technique, right? We did, we did, we took half, we took half of that term, right? So when you take half of that term, look, I divided negative two by two. What did it give you? It gave us negative one, right? Look at our factors. Negative one, negative one. Did you know that when you do the first part of completing the square, that the A value are going to be the values of your two factors, always? always it's always this number always they're duplicates right and so ashley said i think it was ashley right ashley said that because i have y minus one y minus one i can rewrite this as y minus one squared equals 8x And there's supposed to be a sixth step. This one doesn't have it, but the sixth step would be on the right side of equation, factor out a GCF sometimes you will have to, have you all ever heard of force factoring? No one's have heard of force factoring? Okay, you probably have not. All right, so let me, let me give you guys an example, all right? Let's, let's suppose that this expression on the right side, it wasn't like that. Let's say that it was written, it was written like this. So let's say, for example, I'm just saying, for example, suppose that on the other side, it was, it was a 8x minus 16, okay? 8x minus 16. What would you factor out? Eight. Eight, right? And so you would get what, x, x, sorry talking like a Wisconsin, X minus what? Eight. Close. Two. Uh, two. two, right? It would be two, because you're, you're taking out an eight from there and an eight from there, so that would be minus two. So just to, just to double check, if you were to distribute, you should get eight X minus 16. Okay, so that's that's the regular, GCF factor. You just take. You're just pulling out an an eight from both of the terms. Okay, so there's that one, right? But what if what if the expression read eight x minus nineteen, right? What would you factor out? Okay, this is where the force factoring comes into play. I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you're going to do is, regardless of what the back number is, you are going to factor out that 8. 
you're always going to take out, you're always going to factor out the number in front of the, the x term. So you're going to take out an 8. And then when you factor it out, this is what the expression would be. So when you factor out an 8, technically what you're doing is you're dividing through by an 8. So we know that that's 1, but then this thing becomes 19 eighths. You guys can double check. If you, were to, if you were to distribute, what do you end up with? You get this back. Right? And so that's what force factoring is. You, you take out the value in front of the variable. But the last term, since 8 doesn't go into 19, you're going to go ahead and divide by that number in front. And it always works like that. This is, this is called force factoring. They didn't, they didn't teach you this in, in kindergarten in your public schools? Y'all should have covered that after y'all covered the letter Z in uh, kindergarten, where did y'all go? Y'all went to public schools? I went to an alternative high school. It did, in China. Yeah? Excellent, excellent, force factor. Sounds like a, a movie, force factor, rated PG. Excellent. Force factor. Okay, so it, it I don't think, I don't think you will end up with this thing in our problem set in the book. I don't think you have to do that. I think most of them are going to be regular like this. It should be simple. But there is here is your here is your equation of the parabola in standard form. And then from there you can go ahead and find you can find all the other stuff. Then from there you can find the vertex. P, focus, directrix, graph. Right. So we're going to go from, all we're going to do from now is just go from our general to standard. That's what we're going to practice on uh, next. So we're going to do this. You guys, you're here. you don't have a class after mine, right? So we can spend like two hours. You don't mind, do you? Excellent. All right. I'm a very selfish instructor. I like to keep my students with me. Um, what did the what did the shrimp say to the crab? What did the shrimp say to the angry crab? Y'all know this joke? You what? You're so shellfish. Get it? You're so shellfish. Shell shellfish. For, um, shellfish. puns. Huh? That was a I'm pun? a sucker for those puns because yeah. I always write them in like school on um, those like little milk cartons, and they'd be like, "What? Uh, what do you call a uh, uh, pasta that is um, impersonating an impasta?" Later. <laughs> no. oh, all right, let me write that down. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna write that shirt with Bernie Sanders sitting on a chair. Im <laughs> Impasta. That's. I'm laughing hysterically. But I'm afraid because I had that energy drink and I feel kind of weird. I don't know. What is CBD? Don't know. All right, let's try another one. So that was 40, which one did you say that was? That was 50, which one did we do? Oh, that 52. was 51. No, 52. Oh, 52, yeah, that was 52. Okay, you wanna pick another one? I see you, who's that next to you, Mercedes? Is that your sister? No, this is Grace. Oh, <laughs> she wants That's to join awkward. in, come on, burn it. <laughs> okay, which one? Which one would you like? 54. 54. Good move. Okay, 54. That's a good one. All right, 54. You guys are picking the hard ones. That's difficult. 
the difficult ones is, is, is good. X squared minus 4X equals 2Y. Okay. X squared minus 4X equals 2Y. Okay. Y'all want to attempt it first? See if it, see if it comes out and then we'll compare? I'll give y'all some time. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, y'all ready? Go, time's up. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> ah, you guys are too slow, come on. All right, I'll give you guys some time. I'm gonna play some Candy Crush. Then, then do we do like the focus and stuff? Hmm? Do we do like the try to find the focus and stuff? No, let, let, let's just get to the uh, let's just I just want I'd be so happy if you can just put it in uh, in in standard form. Okay. I just want to see that part and then and then we'll proceed and get the other stuff. Okay, that sound like a plan. <laughs> I feel like a cat. I'm trying to get your pencil, Mercedes. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you kind of do look like Darth Maul, Maddie. <laughs> 
kidding. <laughs> uh, where's your lightsaber? Oh, you got Baby Yoda now. Uh, <laughs> uh, I got that for Christmas. Wow. Santa got it for me in my stocking. That's awesome. I got an air fryer. No, I think it's from Costco. Nice. Well, they asked, is that a Build-A-Bear? <laughs> no, it's Build-A-Yoda. <laughs> I miss those shops. You remember those days, guys, when you can socialize and go to the mall? Ah, the good old days. Go no, that was too long ago. Oh, gosh. I don't need, I'm afraid to interact with people now. I don't know. Come on, where are you? Come on, are you there, Amon? The kids asleep. Okay, I see some of you finished already. Let's find out. And the winner is dun, 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 dun. okay. Mercedes got it wrong. Ah, yeah, her friend went like that to calm down. Calm down. No need to punch. <laughs> all right, very good. I'll show. I'll show all my steps. Hold on. I'm gonna show you all. My... Uh, this wasn't that bad. That one was. If you had to rate this one as spicy, this would be water burger, ketchup, spicy ketchup. Eh, has a kick. Nah. Eh, yeah. All right, cool. Who did not get it? Did everyone get it? Notice again. I made the mistake of not um with the four. The four? I just um I took out the two Y plus four, but when at or no at the very end. Oh, right here? Right there. I just brought down the four. But like, I know that you're supposed to, uh, because two times two equals four. But like, yes. my brain was, I guess, like, yes. moving fast. So I just put four right there. That's right. That, that is, that, you know, I'm glad you brought that up. Because, you know, all, all mo most of my, my, my pre-cal students I've had in the past, they, they go through, they go through the rigorous part. They do all the hard part, right? They go through the hard part, and then at the end, they run out of gas, right? So yeah, they 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 put they put the four there, and they still have the two. That's correct, but they leave the four there, and so I I just take off like a hundred points off their test. Nothing major. Nothing major. Just you know, that's cruel. Yeah, it's okay. I'm I'm good, but yeah, I'll just take off a hundred points. You know. <laughs> That'll teach your lesson. <laughs> but yeah, that's a common mistake. It's a common mistake. But it won't happen any, anymore, right? It's it's gone. You got it out of your system. It's out. It's gone. Okay, cool. All right. Let's practice. Let's do another one. Let's do that one was all right. That was uh that was a good that was a good one. Uh all right, so we did that one. Uh you want to pick another one? Can we do can we do either 49 or 50? Which one? 49 or 50? 49 or 50? 49. Which one? 49. 49. All right. Let's do 49. All right. 49. Ooh, that's a good one. 49. That's the, uh, that, that'll be my age in 29 years from now. <laughs> that's what my dad says. Wow. <laughs> oh. oh, I feel so young now. <laughs> yeah. Well. All right. Y squared minus 4Y plus 4X plus 4 equals zero.
You already got it, Maddie. Maybe. What does the force tell you? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I haven't uh, finished my training yet. Oh, you haven't finished your training. Good, good. Remember to sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. No, that's the wrong. Wrong show. Sorry. I like Cobra Kai. I know. Who, which side are you going to pick? I like, I like Robbie a lot. Oh, you're a Cobra Kai. I mean, you're, yeah. You're well, I don't like Cobra, I don't like Cobra Kai though, but I like Robbie more than I like Miguel. I don't like Miguel. He's such a like wuss. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that is just wrong. Yeah, he's, well, I don't know. He had a rough life, you know? Come on. He's, so did Robbie. Yeah, but Robbie can, he can handle himself. He's, my sister loves Miguel. She always is like, Robbie's the worst. <laughs> what about a hawk? What about a hawk? <laughs> I don't like him. <laughs> oh. All right. Where's Vasily? There he is. What's up, sir? How you doing? You doing all right, Vasily? <laughs> you look you look always uh like serious. Are you always serious? You don't you don't joke around, do you? You play video games, Vasily. Oh yeah. What do you play? Fortnite? Uh no, I mostly play uh, older games. Oh, okay. I thought you play like Minecraft or something. <laughs> I do. Am I the only one that plays Minecraft? I play. Do you? Ah, I knew you were a gamer. You can tell with the antennas on your head. <laughs> Are you ready? All right, here we go. And the winner is David. <laughs> okay. David. Boom. Did you guys get that? Yes. No, come on, Mercedes. You're supposed to go like this. Come on, man. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. Now I'll go through it with you all. Okay. So, so on this one, we're going to have to move. We have to move this term. We have to move this term and we have to move that term over. That's, this is going to be another, this is going to be another issue that's going to come up. All right. Besides the the factoring out. So remember, when you move when you move these two terms over to the other side of the equals, you get to change the signs, right? So it's positive. You move it over, it becomes negative. You move the positive four, you move it over, it becomes negative. So you got to make sure you got to make sure that you move when you move the terms, you they become opposites. So then you have you have this term the y's on the left by themselves, right? So now I can go ahead and do my complete the square. So I take half, square it, negative two. Sorry, take half, you get negative four, two squared, you get positive four. And so that's where I'm gonna add four to both sides, right? So remember there's there's a sign sign change from positives. You move it over to the other side, they become negatives. And then I'm going to add four to both sides. Huacataca, these cancel out. Without the sound effects, of course. I factor it. You get y minus two, y minus two. Just like the look, just like the part A said, this number appears twice. So that's and there it is. Voila! Did you get it too, Ashley? Yeah, yeah. You don't want to dab? Do the dab. Do the dab. dab. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I do it wrong. I do it the opposite way. I don't know why. Okay. Very good. Anyone have questions on it? 
All right. Thank you. Oh, oh, David just uh, texted me and he said, sir, can we have a quiz? Yes, you may. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm kidding, David. Yeah, David, but... David uh, please send all hate mail to uh, Dave. All right. So I made it easy. It, it's not hard. So let's see if I can find it. I don't even think I set it up. Oops. Let me see. Hold on. Let me. Let me see assignments, da, 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 da. quiz number four. Whoops, I didn't set it up. Uh oh, now they're, they're, uh oh, now they're picking on David. It's okay, it's all right, he's, he's good, he's all good. All right, there it is. So your, your quiz, <laughs> your quiz is y squared plus eight y, you're gonna go to assignments, Go to quiz number four. It's under quiz number four. And there's your equation. All you have to do is, well, you have to put it in standard form, of course. Then you find the vertex, hokai, directrix, and then graph the parabola, yeah. Okay, it'll be there. Okay, I'm gonna, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. Is that all right? I need to, I need to change the, the, um, the uh due date um it is due the no not in september what the heck why are we in september oh wait february what's today today's the we're all late it was due last year <laughs> it was due last year well where were y'all all right it'll be due february the 9th at 9 a.m it'll be available from today yeah, what's what, what, what time is it right now? 10 30? What's 10 30? Yeah, 10 30. 10 30. I'm not to remember that joke about the pasta. Why did it say January? Come on. Hello. Huh, were we alive in January of 410? <laughs> what the heck? What were we doing in the year 410? <laughs> 21. Uh, I don't think I was born. Maybe we were. Available from today at 10.30, yeah. Until February 9th at 9 a.m. Okay, hopefully it works. P.M. a.m. da 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 Cool. All right, there it is. It's published. And then when you guys are done, you go to assignments, upload, take a photo of your, of your quiz, and then attach it to a quiz number four in your assignments. Like you did last time, but quiz number four. Make sense? And make your, I want to see, I want to see, uh, I want to see some good graphs. I want, I want pizzazz. I want anger. Pizzazz, put a lot of emotion in those graphs. I want to see vividness, chic, yet, <laughs> yet humble. Yes. What did y'all put? Okay, remind me again, David. What does a little carrot mean? I don't understand your lingo. Y'all are your generation. It's like, uh, it's like a grain for what she's saying. Oh, okay, all right. It's kind of like, uh, uh, what's the word? I'm trying to think of the word that you guys use for generation. I don't know.
There we go. Okay, guys, I think time is has ended in our class. You can finish it up and then submit it by Tuesday. Is that okay? I know you guys are dry. I see some of y'all with protractors and compasses. Very good. That's sick, but that's okay. Yeah, just, just load it up by Tuesday and we're good. Thank you, sir. All righty, guys. Uh, take care. Have a good weekend. Have a good oh, weekend. High, five. high five, Edward. Hi, Edward was giving me a high five. Sorry. Thank you. There. Sorry. Bye. Bye, guys. Have a good weekend, sir. Thank you for the message. Thank you. The touch of strangers. <laughs> I have uh, a question. Yes, ma'am. The Quick bean question. and pasta. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, you got to remember that to everybody. I, I read that in you. middle school, like on a milk carton, I think. Um, <laughs> they did. It was true moo, true moo. I always got chocolate because I love chocolate milk. And then they would always have those jokes. And I would tell my friends, and they'd just stare at me. But it's 